Where does Gleanings get its fruit from? Well, right behind me is our truck. We send out every day empty bins to packing houses. It goes and picks up. Uh, each of these bins is about a thousand pounds of fresh fruit. We pick them up from the packing house. We bring them here to the Gleanings yard. You can see right behind me, here's some fruit that's just come in. And you think, why does this fruit get donated? Well, uh, you can see obviously a fruit, a piece of fruit like this is blemished or damaged. Uh, you also got fruit that's uh, kind of too small or not ripe enough or maybe overripe. Um, you got one right here that has some rotting on it. Um, you have a piece of fruit right here that looks so pretty and so good. I mean, delicious piece of white nectarine. Why does this get donated? Well, because it might be too ripe to get to the store. This is called cold fruit, C-U-L-L. -L. It's not able to go to market. You got another one right here that kind of has a side growth on it. Split pits. This fruit cannot go to the market. Um, and so it would go to cows, it would get dumped in the field, but instead, Gleanings rescues this fruit. Even though the world would call it trash, we make it into life-saving food, uh, dry fruit that will go out with the gospel. You can see it going into our plant over here. Our summer staff's working on sending it into the plant where it's gonna get cut in half, the core is gonna come out, it's gonna get sulfured in our tunnels and go out into the field and dry for seven days. And that's how we make dried fruit here at Gleanings.